Perfect fall weather for a day of caring at historic Oaklawn Cemetery. It was not only a day for cleanup, but as Fox 10's Lee Peck shows us, it was a way to pay tribute to the hundreds of veterans buried there. Retiring the old and raising a new. It's a particularly an honor for me to present to you a flag that's flown top of the capital of the United States. Congressman Bradley Byrne on hand for Oakland Cemetery's Day of Caring. To honor the hundreds of veterans buried here, he brought an American flag that flew above the nation's capital back in September. And it's appropriate that we honor them by having a flag from the capital here. And we further honor them with all the work of these volunteers to try to clear up the grave sites. Doesn't matter who you are, it matters what contribution you can make to this nation. Mobile native Colonel Roosevelt Lewis Jr. also brought a fitting gift to pay tribute to the Tuskegee Airmen who are also buried here, like Captain Leon Roberts, killed in World War II. I have uh, some soil from the historic Moton Field. Tradition holds that Tuskegee Airmen took soil from Moton Field, where they're trained for added protection. And they put it in their flight suit and the leg of their flight suit and they carried on missions, especially the tough mission. In remembrance of the brave, he scatters the hallowed soil around the flagpole. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cemetery holds extra meaning for Lewis. His father, also a veteran, and other family members are buried here. He's thankful for the volunteers who are taking time to clean up. Uh, I'm just very pleased to see that there's an interest now in keeping it up and I would uh, uh, ask uh, the Mobile public to please uh, uh, support the groups that are doing this and to honor those who've given the, the last full measure uh, of their being for this nation. A day of caring for the ones who gave their all. At historic Oaklawn Cemetery, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.